Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick video on just some things I picked up here and there. Honestly, I'm still waiting on a Black Friday order because I picked up a Clarisonic and then I also picked up the Becca Apreski Glow Palette because it was on sale and I had just picked one up during the VIB sale but I'm planning on returning it because it was like almost $10 extra so it was like $20 cheaper during Black Friday so I hope you guys were able to scoop that up anyway we have a lot of stuff to go through so if you're interested in checking out my Black Friday sort of just like things I've been buying just keep watching Okay, so I have been buying a ton of palettes. I did pick up the newest palette by Juvia's Place. This is the Doshe palette, I believe is how you say it, and this one is gorgeous. I do have a swatch video, I think, up on my channel. Um, so if you guys are interested, I will link it for you guys, but this palette is stunning. I cannot wait to play with this and review it for you guys, so definitely stay tuned for that. Next thing I picked up are these guys. Oh my gosh. So I'm trying really hard to up my game a little bit on YouTube, and it's kind of funny because I'm actually not wearing falsies today, but this was such a good deal from Ardell. This is a limited edition lash like pack and you get eight lashes and this thing is $24 so you're paying $3 a lash and you guys I love Ardell's like wispy lashes and all of these are kind of like wispy but thick and fluffy and just juicy and I was like hells yeah so I'm really really excited to have scooped that up. Now I did place a Sephora order and pick up this little sample bag. Super cute. They've been like going in and out of stock. Like you can just add it to your card. But usually when you use Sephora coupon codes, you can only use one. So I know a lot of my previous shopping I did with the VIB Rouge code. So I couldn't pick this up, but I finally got one. So I'm excited for that. Another palette I did pick up is the Urban Decay Distortion Palette. Now I don't think I actually needed this but it did come available as a rouge exclusive so I was like you know what let me just buy it if I don't like it I can always take it back so that is what I did it's kind of naughty but honestly that's just like the life of a youtuber sometimes is to just like pick stuff up test it out and if it doesn't work out guess what it's going back because life is too short to keep makeup that you don't love that is my sole motto in life. Okay, and then this was an exciting item. I didn't realize it would come in this packaging, but I did pick up the Pat McGrath Labs Metamorphosis Black Dual Ended Marker. So this is just a liquid liner pen from her lineup, and these were half off. So usually it retails for $30 and it was on sale for $15. So I was like, why not? Her eyeliners are my absolute favorite eyeliner now of all time. I've been using it since I picked them up during the Rouge sale and it is absolutely delicious and I am so so in love. Another palette I did grab on sale during Black Friday is the, the new Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit. I didn't want this really at full price but this went on sale for $24 and I was like heck yeah I want the Sugar Glow Kit so I will be adding that to my collection which I am so excited about. I also picked up some things from NARS so I picked up their new Wanted eyeshadow palette which looks like this. Super duper cute and then I also picked up their face palette for holiday. This is the Veil palette and I'm actually wearing it on my face today for bronzer, blush and highlights. So let me know what you guys think about that. And then I did receive a package in the mail today as well from Sephora. This is my order with the $25 off a $50 purchase. I didn't go too ham. I tried to pick up like things I had thought like, oh shoot, I wish I had bought that during the sale, but I forgot or didn't at the time or it was out of stock. Okay, here we go, here we go. So excited, okay. So here's what I got, nothing too fancy, but I did pick up this set. This came out after the Sephora sale, but this is the Toast the Good Life eye brush set from Tarte. Now, I have been loving eye brush sets it's, or brush sets in general. It's crazy, I've been picking them up like it's going out of style. I have some from Tarte. I have both the ones from Tarte Holiday. I got some from Sonia Kashuk from Target. 
I got the Wet n Wild brushes and now I added this to the lineup. I love that they just did a eye brush set because usually brush sets are like a whole set with face and eye brushes. So usually I feel like you're getting kind of swindled a little bit on the eye brushes because you get like four eye brushes and then like five face brushes. I'm like, I go through eye brushes like I go through underwear. I love using new, fresh, clean ones so that my shades don't like muddy together from palette to palette. So I just thought this was such cute packaging and I figured I would try it out for you guys and keep you posted with my thoughts on that. I also picked up this little Beauty Blender Solid Pro Soap for cleaning my brushes. I also picked up the Huda Foundation in the shade 420G Toffee. I'm just curious to see if this one will work better as I get lighter in the winter time. I'm actually wearing shade 430 right now, which is gingerbread, I believe, and I really like it, but I'm always like wondering if it's the best match for me, so I decided to get one shade lighter just to figure it out for myself. And then I watched a lot of haul videos, and this was in so many haul videos, so I decided to pick it up because I was so curious. This is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm, and a lot of people said this is the best makeup removing cleansing balm they've used, even compared to the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm. Now, I was really curious about the Clinique Balm, but in the end, I just never purchased it. So I'm super excited to try this one by Pharmacy. So then one of the next things I got during Black Friday is my new curling iron. I'm so excited. This is a T3. And so I bought the base and then this is a 125 barrel. So I really suck at curling my hair. And everyone that had received this from PR was like pushing their sale. They were 25% off. And I was like, is this a gimmick? Because I hate I hate like all these like fashion bloggers on Instagram that you just know they're getting paid to sell you product, you know? And it's really disappointing because I feel like they get like all this like wackadoodle stuff that they try to sell you from like protein shakes to pajamas to just like ridiculous things that have nothing to do with their like brand, I would say. Anyway, I just feel like I watch so much sponsored content. Anyway, so everyone was like pushing this curling iron and I had recently picked up the curling iron by Dry Bar, the three day bender, I think, or one of the, the one with the clamp that has a rotating barrel. That one would have been a perfect curling iron, except the clamp doesn't like come down as hard as this one does. So your hair, as you're curling it, will fall out of the clamp and it just turns into a hot mess. Now apparently there is a learning curve to that barrel, but I never mastered it and I just ended up taking it back to Ulta because it was really expensive. So this was really expensive too and I was like, shit, do I buy it? Like I don't know if I can trust these people. So then I contacted through Instagram, through DMs, Miss Katie Hill. She is also a fellow YouTuber and I've been watching her channel for years and years and years. I love it, she's so laid back. She doesn't have like a ton of subscribers, but I love watching like her hauls and stuff like that. That's how I found her. So I will link her channel down below, but I remember her talking about this and it came up on her Instagram stories. So I DM'd her and I was like, is it really worth it? And she's like, honestly, it is. And she sent me a picture of her hair on day three. Now my hair is really kinked, so, it doesn't matter, like, it, my hair doesn't usually hold a curl, but I did pick this up and honestly, I automatically felt like I knew how to curl my hair. And the day I actually curled my hair, I got so many compliments. So it just like made my day and I just felt like I had luscious, curly, gorgeous hair, which was awesome. So if you are not proficient in doing hair and especially curling it, I would honestly recommend this. Plus there's so many different barrels. I bought the 125 because I want to grow up my hair so I thought this was something that I could continue to use even as my hair got longer which I don't know we'll see how that goes and then to go along with that I did pick up the way texturizing hairspray because I feel like my hair is so flat and it could just use a good hairspray now I don't want a crunchy hairspray so I really hope this isn't that but I did pick up the way memory mist and I love that as like a heat protectant and like a style extender so I thought 
Since I had had good luck with Way, I would try out their texturizing hairspray. So, so I just wanted to show you guys this and show you some of my purchases that I had picked up during Black Friday. Like I said, I'm still waiting for a Sephora order with my Clarisonic to come. I'm so excited because I got the foundation brush head. So we'll definitely have to review that for you guys. And that's it for my haul. Let me know if you've tried any of these products or if you want to see reviews on any of these things right away. Definitely let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye guys.